frame data. I'm not here to convince you that frame data is important. There's like a million other videos of people who are already telling you why it's important. I'm here to show you a more convenient way to access frame data. So right now the best way to get frame data is to go to the wiki where someone has helpfully translated all the Japanese uh, frame data wiki, which is not just in Japanese, but they also use a totally different notation for it into English. And they have it by move, which is kind of a pain. And also, it's kind of incomplete and sometimes wrong. Uh, but this, this info is essential to learning the game, right? It's essential to getting better at Tekken and understanding your character, and more importantly, understanding all the characters you're going to be fighting against, because matchups matter a lot. So, this frame data overlay shows you frame data in real time, which is kind of like if you had the wiki, except the wiki was stapled to the top of your computer and telling you uh, the frame data of the move you just did and the move your opponent just did. Uh, it shows you frame data on block, it shows you frame data on hit. That's not on hit. That's on hit, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, uh it kind of gets weird if you do like a launcher, like... like yeah, that's plus 32, but it's kind of meaningless because it's really just a juggle. Uh, it also shows you your opponent's frame data, so if we set the opponent to a uh, CPU, and we block some stuff. Shows you that was minus 12, I could have punished that. That was minus 19, I really could have punished that. That's minus 11. Uh, that I didn't block. That I didn't block. That I didn't block. That was plus 3. That's plus 3. Wow, that's a good move. Um, so obviously this would be more useful if instead of playing a computer I was playing a real person and they were using uh, only a few of Kuma's strings and not just randomly throwing out whatever. Oh, hey, I punished something. Yeah. Uh, so right now, the overlay shows... It shows your frame advantage. It shows the hit level of the move, which is high, low, or mid. But it also includes uh, special mids. Which... Yeah, special mids. It includes uh, unblockables. Um, and actually... Elisa has a move, I think it's, no, it's not that. This? No. She has a move where she sticks her chainsaw up in the air. This, this is a unique uh, move property. Uh, probably not unique. One I haven't seen on anyone else that hits only in the air. Uh, so this isn't a high, mid, or low. It's, it's, it's a, it only hits you if you're in the air. Anyway, uh, it tells you that. It tells you uh, active frames. So most moves have one active frame, but some moves, like uh, down three, has ten active frames. So you see that's plus seven, right? But that plus seven is actually... That's plus seven if I do this move like here and hit on the first active frame. If I do this move from back here, well... That's not plus anything. But like from here and hit with the tip, it's probably better than plus seven. It's probably like plus 10 or plus 13. Uh, and that's because this move has 10 active frames, which means there's 10 frames it can hit on. Uh, most moves, however, have one or two. Uh, so that's not terribly exciting for most characters. All right, um, I hope you guys find this useful. And you can download it from my GitHub repository. Uh, and let me know if you have any problems with it. Thanks.